We're gonna head over and pick some beans and we're gonna use those for seeds next year. If you've been watching our channel very long, you know that our gardening this last year has been somewhat disastrous, a lot of problems with it. And the same thing goes for these beans that we planted. We planted some beans over here. Almost all of them didn't make it, uh, but some of them did do okay, uh, despite all the weeds. Check all these weeds out over here. You see, here are the beans amongst all this grass and these weeds. So what we decided to do was to take these beans over here and uh, turn them into seed. The problem is we don't know exactly what kind of beans these were. Uh, so we're just gonna pull all the ones that are dried and the ones that haven't quite dried out yet, we're just gonna leave over here and we're gonna harvest at another time. So let me show you what we're talking about. So here behind me, you see some that have dried out. These that are very dark brown. And here you see one uh, that's still green. So these that are green, this one actually has a cricket on it. They say these are edible. I you want to eat it? No. We're going to pull a lot of these that are dark brown like this and just put them in these sacks. And the ones that are green, uh, we're going to just leave here. Any that are green like this, you leave. Uh, but if you see them that are all dried out like this, you can pull those and put them in your sacks. And that means all dried out, not one bit of green on them. I'm going to let the kids just do this. So sit back and enjoy while they do some bean harvesting. <laughs> They said they're ready to stop. There's a whole lot more that we can gather, but we're just gonna do a little bit of this time. I'm actually really not sure exactly what kind of beans these are. We planted two or three different kind over here. We pulled one uh, pea pod earlier today, uh, or the kids did whenever I wasn't. Hey, a snake! What kind of snake is that? It's an orange ringneck snake. Is it poisonous? No, all they do is eat bugs. They eat bugs, they're good. They eat slugs and uh, they bugs. No? Here's a snake. Ben found a snake. It's an orange ringneck snake. You can see it's, uh, see it's, you can see that it's one of those ring neck snakes because it's got the ring around its neck. And yeah, these uh, these just eat bugs and uh, slugs and worms and stuff like that. So uh, kind of surprised I saw it over here, actually. Uh, it's just sibling along. Ooh, it's going to get in your stuff. But we're going to let him go. Uh, not all snakes are bad snakes. This is a good snake. Do you know there. what they are? This is very fun to hold them, but they still, they still can harm you. And some, like so, sometimes they can, still yeah. can. Uh, He's got an orange belly. Do you see his belly there? Here. Sometimes they can kill you, but see don't be worried. They orange belly. Don't bite. Orange belly and it's orange ring around his neck. Be careful. I think we should put him in the grass. No. Toy will kill him. Anyway, uh, we were over here earlier today, saw him grab the pea pod, and I think it had black eyed peas in it. We've been meaning to do this for a while. You can take these dried beans, and they're the same kind of beans that you get from the store as the dried beans, or we can save these for seed, and that's probably what we'll end up doing with these, is saving them for seed. At the beginning of this year, whenever all this pandemic stuff struck, uh, there was a whole lot of uh, problems for some people trying to find the seeds that they ordinarily would find. So. Uh, I think it's good to start getting in the habit of saving some seeds and these kind of beans They're easy to save if you're going to save some seeds It's good to start with something like beans because uh, they are quite easy to save Let's get these in the house and show you what we have here Here's what we have 
put them in a pile over here on the table and then we can rake them into something else. So uh, we're just gonna haul these and see what we have. Looks like everything that I've seen so far are these black eyed peas. Make sure to put the beans over one side and then put the shells. You can just put them on the floor if you want to. We can sweep them up. Don't get in any hurry, kids. It's okay. Here, put the beans that we're doing or peas in a pile. So far, it looks like they're all the black eyed peas. I'm just gonna let them haul them. They're gonna have fun doing this. I'm just gonna let them drop the, the, uh, the husks, the pods on the floor and then we can sweep them up afterwards. So uh, we've got just a few more here to do, and there's more out there. Papa's favorite bean is a black eyed pea, if you're looking for Papa trivia. I don't know, is there a difference between black eyed peas and cow peas? Uh, I'm not sure if there are. I thought they were the same, but I've heard they're also different. I think Papa bought uh, this year when we planted these, I think he bought a pound's worth, and we've already got more than what he bought here. So um, these, got, these made it with absolutely no input. All we did was plant them and then just left them. Didn't do anything with them. Uh, we didn't weed, we didn't put any weed fabric down, we didn't till, we didn't fertilize, we did absolutely nothing. And we got all these and there's at least this much more out there. Beans and peas are something easy to start with, especially these black eyed peas. And uh, they're easy to save seeds for as well. We're gonna save these for next year. We'll plant these next year. And we'll try to take care of them a bit better this next year as well. So maybe we'll get more. If you like things like this, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, select all so you never miss a notification. Bye. Thanks. Bye. So we got them all hold and we got them picked and there's probably just as many out here. So we got these done and I asked Papa how many he bought before and he said he thinks that he only bought like four ounces of them. So I don't know how many we bought, but I thought he bought a pound of them. If it was a pound, I think we've got a pound back of our seeds and we did absolutely nothing here and we've got at least this many more. And it was something the kids could do as well and they actually enjoyed it very much. I might send them out here a little later uh, to pick a few more and to hull a few more and then put them in a bag. It makes a little bit of a mess when you do it in the house. And we got our seeds for next year and we'll plant even more because these are Papa's favorite pea. Appreciate you being here today. Check out Abraham's new haircut. Cut Abraham's hair. <laughs> he needed a haircut pretty bad. Come back again, we do a new videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and a live stream on Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Central Time. Don't, don't scare the guineas.